It's been three months since crime in Alice Springs was cast into the national spotlight and Peter Dutton says the situation hasn't improved. We're treating Territorians as second-class citizens under this government and it has to stop. The opposition leader has spent the past two days in Alice Springs with CLP Senator Jacinta Price. He says the introduction of alcohol restrictions and extraterritory police earlier this year haven't done enough to ease problems in the town. And you've got kids here tonight who are going to be sexually abused or families where domestic violence has now become a current occurrence. I would urge the opposition leader, please don't use Alice Springs as a political football uh, with irresponsible accusations if they can't be followed up. But Mr Dutton's allegations about high rates of child sexual abuse have been rejected by the Territory's police minister and the national body representing Indigenous children. It is not uh, able to be substantiated None of the evidence substantiates his claims. There is no evidence to back it up. The data is not matching. It is frustrating and it is disappointing. What evidence do you have that there is this so-called rampant child sexual abuse occurring in remote central Australia? Well, I mean, with respect, that's such an ABC question. I've spoken to the police and the social workers, some of whom are out on stress leave at the moment because of the scenes that they've endured. I would ask opposition leader Peter Dutton if you are aware of this, then you need to mandatory report it to police. While there's no current data available for Central Australia, the Territory Families Department says there were more than 100 substantiations of child sexual exploitation across the entire NT in 2021 and 2022, with more than 70 in the seven months to January this year. It says they were all referred to police for further investigation. The federal government says it's having ongoing discussions about how a one-off $250 million funding package will be allocated to address disadvantage across Central Australia. Lee Robinson, ABC News, Alice Springs.